God is worthy to be praised. And we are grateful to be in the house of the Lord once again. And we thank God for you being with us this morning. Call a friend, share this, this broadcast, tell them that we are on the air everywhere. Just glad to be in the service of God one more time. It's a blessing just to be here. Amen. This time we're going to have our scripture reading by our own uh, Deacon King. Amen. We're celebrating 40 years of marriage. Amen. What a blessing that God has allowed him and his wife to celebrate such a momentous occasion. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, saints. I'm going to be reading to you from Mark 11 chapter with the first verse. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a coat tied, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this, say? The Lord has need of it yeah. and will send it back here immediately. Oh, yeah. And they went away and found a coat tied at the door outside in the street. And they untied it. And some of those standing there said to him, What are you doing? Untied the coat. Yeah. And when they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the coat to Jesus and threw their clothes on it. And he sat on it. Many spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread these branches that they had cut from the field. Yes. And those who were the poor, those who followed, were shouting, yes, Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed is he yes. who came, who comes in the name of the Lord. Yes. I read to you as many as 11 verses, Mark 3 chapter. Blessed is the reading of the Lord's holy word. Amen. God bless you. 
hearts today. We are so grateful to God for being here this morning and allowing us another chance to come into your homes, into your, on your devices, amen, and just to say that we are grateful to God for being a part of the service today, amen. We got our brothers in here again this morning, and they're going to take us up higher in the Lord, amen. I want you to sit back and put your hands together for the St. Mary Missionary Baptist Church mail course, amen. Let's, let's hear it from them as they come to us by way of the Lord.
Yes, it's good sir. to have a God that we can depend on. Yes, sir. Through the storm, through the rain. Amen. We can depend on our God. Amen. I'm so glad that I serve a God that I can depend on. Amen. Folks will let you down. People will disappoint you. But God will always be there. He will always be there. And I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, brothers, for singing praises unto our God. Amen. We're going to get into the Word now. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with us to the 13th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at 1 through 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and beginning at verse 1. Amen. I hope you have your Bibles with you. Amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 beginning at verse 1, says, Though I speak That's it. with the tongues of men and of angels, yes, uh -huh. and have not charity, right. I am become a sounding brass or a tingling sound. And if I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Amen. And though I restore my all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Yeah. And I want to talk this morning very briefly from this subject: Where is the love? Where? is the love. Amen. Back in the late 70s, Donna Hathaway and also uh, Roberta Flack recorded a very popular hit tune entitled, Where Is the Love? In that song they, uh, that they recorded, they were asking each other, where is the love that you said you, you would give to me? Yes, and my brothers and sisters, we are asking the same question, yes, even on this morning. Yes, where is the love? As we look around our world, our country, our society, uh, the question remains, where is the love? Yes, sir. We can see the hate. Yes, sir. We can see the bitterness. Yes, we can see the turmoil. Yes, but somebody ought to ask the question, where, where is the love? Yes, sir. My brothers and sisters, love, this word love is one of the most used and most misused words in the English language. Yes, Love for some is a deep feeling. It's an emotion, a strong emotion that, that, that comes from their heart to another individual. And that is a, a form of love. That is a, a, an expression of love. But I want to go a little bit deeper than that. Yes, yes, yes. Because the love that I'm talking about has nothing to do with how you necessarily feel. Yes. Because feelings can change. Yes, yes. Feeling is like the wind. It'll blow one way for a while, and after a while, it'll change directions on you. But we need genuine, pure, true love. Not, not love as our uh, recording artists try to convince us. They put that word in a lot of their songs. Yes. And y'all know that I am a connoisseur, a lover of music, yes. all kinds of music, not just Christian music, but all kinds. I like blues, I like jazz, I like rock and roll, I like pop. I like it all because it is an expression of the heart. And music
music is the language of the world. Yes, sir. Everybody understand music. Yes, sir. Everybody understand. And music has a way of changing the atmosphere yes, in a place. Yes, when you put on a certain song, it just does something to the mood in the room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and I, I can recall many of the old uh, rhythm and blues artists Amen. Who would put uh, the word love or the expression of love in their songs, and it brings back to my mind that 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 uh, rhythm and blues prophet. He was a real prophet uh, in the rhythm rhythm and blues section by the name of Luther Vandross. And Luther would sing his love ballads. And one day Luther sung a song and he said something like this, a chair is not a chair. Even, or rather a chair is still a chair. Even when there's no one sitting there. Y'all don't hear me this time. And he said, he said, but a house is not a home. When the two of us are not that he was expressing some love feeling, saying that if you are not in my life, I don't have a reason to have any love. And not only does Luther walk us down the hallways of music, but also Lenny Williams. I know y'all might be too young or too old to remember Lenny Williams, but, but you know what Lenny sung. Amen. Lenny, would, Lenny got in his, when he got in his mood, when he got in his groove, Lenny would say, because I love you, girl. And then he would hit that note and say, because I, 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 ain't with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you, girl. Yeah, you know. Come on, Lenny would let us know that he loved this woman that he was talking about. Mm. Yes, there, there, there is. Uh, Luther and there's Lenny, but you can't walk down the hallway of music without making a, a sharp right turn by the Reverend Al Green. Because Reverend Al tells us in his song about love and happiness. And Al tells us in his song that it's, it's about something going wrong. Y'all can help me if you can. And he tells us what time it is. He says it's 3 o'clock in the morning. And, and somebody is on the phone. Y'all ain't with me today. He said, he said they're talking about how she can make it right. Now I said ain't nothing wrong being in love with someone. Because when you're in love with someone, in love, he said, will make you do right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And love will make you do wrong. Love will make you come home early. Or it will make you stay out. Oh. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. All I can say, I'm a witness to that. Yes, 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 yes. And he said, he said, my brothers and sisters, that, that, that there's nothing wrong with a little love and happiness. And I, I agree, but Al, I want to take it a little step further. Because that kind of love an individual can fall out of. They can get disappointed. Their heart can be broken. And it's really broken down in three different terms. Mm -hmm. There is what you call eros love, right. which is a romantic kind of love. Mm -hmm. The kind of love that a boy has for a girl, or a girl would have for a boy. There is a physical or an emotional attraction to that individual. Uh -huh. That's eros love. That's what the world really uh, circles its love around or based on feelings and emotion. Mm -hmm. But then there is also philia love, mm -hmm. which is where we get our word 
Philadelphia from. It is philia love, which is brotherly love. Where we get the word Philadelphia, where we have uh, feelings for one another simply based on the fact that we are related to one another. It's love that a parent would have for a child. It's love that you would have for a cousin or a friend or, or a buddy. It is that type of love, that kind of admiration that you would share. But my brothers and sisters, that kind of love yeah. is based on fear. Yeah. It's based, it has conditions. Mm -hmm. Because only if you love me will I love you. And only if you are kin to me yes. is the reason that I love you. Yes. But there is another one, and that's why I want to pause just for a few moments. Yes. On this word, the next, the kind of love that Paul talks about in this 13th chapter. Yes. And it is called a godly love. Yes. A godly love transcends Eros love. Yes. Agape love goes beyond phileo love. Agape love is unconditional love. It reaches down to the uttermost. It does not care if it gets love back in return, but it's willing to demonstrate love to those who are unlovely. It is what Paul talks about in this 13th chapter. Yes. It is a higher level of love. Yes, it is unconditional. It, he, he goes on to tell us that this type of love is patient. Mm. The love that God has for you and I yes. is a patient yes. love. Yes. God yes. is patient with us. Yes, I mean, some of us yes, are real hard here. Yes, sir. Yes. Some of us are real stuck. Yes, yes, yes. Some of us are stuck in our way. Yes, sir. We like doing things our way. Yes, sir. And God, in order to get us to where he wants us to be, is very patient with us. Yes, sir. Anybody here glad that God is patient with you? Yes, he put up with your mess. And some of us know that we had some real stanky mess. And yet God was patient with us. He was patient with us. And Paul says this love is not only patient, but this love is kind. It is a kind love. It is a, a love that, that David describes as loving kindness. Yes, sir. It, 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 it's not an evil kind of love, but it is a kind love. Yes, sir. It demonstrates itself even when I am unlovable. Yes, and I have been an unlovable individual. Yes. There are some ways that I have mm -hmm. or not, that are not love. And don't look at me strange because there's some ways that you have yes, that are not lovable ways. Yes. Sometimes you speak to me, sometimes you don't. Yes, sometimes you act like you know me, sometimes you don't. Yes, sometimes you're all right, sometimes you ain't. Yes, but yet God, in the midst of it, is kind. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's kind. And he lets us see another day. Even when we don't think. Even when we go through a day and don't even, yes, don't even thank God. God is still kind to us. This love does not envy. It does not boast. It does not have, it is not proud. It is not rude. And it is not self-seeking. Yes. This love does not seek its own interest. Yes. But this love seeks the interest of others. Yes. This love goes beyond what that feeling is. Because this love don't wait for feeling, yes, this love automatically demonstrates yes, without fear. Because yes, right. this love knows that 
it has it has a higher calling. It's had, and that's the love that God is requiring of all of us. Where is that love? The love that grandma talked about that said it goes from heart to heart and breast to breast. Yes, that love that we don't care whether you are my friend or my brother. As long as you are created in the image of God, I love you. Yes. I'm going to seek your best interest. Yes. I'm going to look for your well-being. Yes, That's what this love does. Yeah, yeah. It is not easily angered. Sometimes we can get angry and we can get disappointed in life. But this divine love is not angry. Even when it ought to be angry. There are also times when church, when God ought to be angry with us. He has every right to be angry. But his love kicks in. His love kicks in and says, I love them so much. I know they ain't no good. I know they ain't no ain't worth nothing. But it's because I love them so much, I'm willing to look over their faults. And then, then it says that this love keeps no records of wrong. And that's God's love. It's not that I haven't done any wrong. I'm guilty as sin. If, and the record will show that I did what I'm accused of. But yes, yes. God, in his mercy, yes. in his wisdom, and in his grace, yes. decides, even though I did wrong, yes, he's going to look at me as if I had done no wrong. Yes, Not because of what I have done, but simply because of what his son did in my behalf. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil. It does not like when evil goes on. And I tell you, there ought to be some sort of righteous indignation within us. When we see evil on the throne. And we see evil people running things. But the Bible said that wrong forever on the throne. But truth will outlast that evil. Because behind the, the dark unknown yes, stands a God who keeps watch yes, above his own. Yes, yeah, you can do all the dirt you want to do, but there's a God that makes a reckoning day. Yes, because as Dr. King said, that the moral unit, the arc of the moral universe, it bends toward justice. Yes, yes it may take a long time. But all eventually, justice will come. Because God is true. God is righteous. And God's way will be done. So it always seeks, this love always seeks to protect. It does not expose the weaknesses of that in which it loves. It does not uh, tell what the, what the person has done in order to shame me, in order to belittle me. Because my brothers and sisters, there's some stuff that I've done that I don't want nobody to find out what's in my closet. And I know there's some stuff that you've done I know you sit there with your back this beautiful on, but, but I know there's some stuff that you done done. That if we ran down the record and you were running across some, some, some places that you wasn't supposed to be, some people you wasn't supposed to be hanging out with, doing some stuff at places, at times, in time, out of places, drinking stuff you wasn't, you know what I'm talking about. With his love. He seeks to protect. He all love always trusts. Yeah. Love always trusts. Love, that's what it means when, when love bears all things. Yeah. Love bears all things. They ain't what they ought to be. Uh -huh. I ain't what I ought to be. Uh -huh. But Lord God, I'm 
so glad that he is, he's there to say, I know Bates ain't all what it ought to be. He got a long way to go, but I'm still working on it. Yeah. I'm still behind the scenes tweaking some things. Yeah, sir. As he walked closer to me, the more closer he walked to me, a lot of that stuff is going to fall off. And let me work with him a little bit. Yeah, let, me, let me chisel on him a little bit more. Yeah, and one of these days, when he gets through with me, yeah, I will come forward yeah. as pure gold. I got some stains on me now. Got some things, some hang-ups, some hold-ups, some let-me-downs. But oh, when God get through with me, when God puts his final touches on me, the world can't do me no harm. Love always hopes. Love always preserves. It bears all things. Hopes all things. It believes all things. Mm -hmm. Better yet, love is personified. Yeah. Yeah. It is wrapped up in a person. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Love Talk is a, it's wrapped up in a person. I see. Talk about it. And this person is was the first person was the person that was in Genesis. Yes, yeah, sir. Because the Bible said it was in the beginning. Uh huh. That God said that let us make man. Yes, yeah. And the, the Bible tells us in John chapter 1 that it was in the beginning that God created the heaven and earth and, and that God said that that same word yes, that was in the beginning yes, is the same Jesus that came in a Bethlehem state. Yes, yes, He's that same, if you're looking for what love is, that where love is, it's not so much where it is, but it, who it is. Because yes, love is a person. Yes, love is the extension of God himself. Yes. God himself wrapped himself. Come on with me, y'all. God himself wrapped himself in human flesh. Yes. See, I can't do it through Abraham. Because uh -huh. Abraham will tell a lie if I need him the most. But if I go and do it myself, uh -huh. I'm going to wrap myself uh -huh. in human flesh. Uh -huh. Catch the nine month train. Uh -huh. Stop in Bethlehem. Uh -huh. In born in a manger. Walk the dusty streets of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. Yes, Heal the sick. Uh -huh. Raise the dead. Uh -huh. Do you know him? Uh -huh. Have you tried? Uh -huh. Love is a person. He's the person of Jesus, yeah. the massive lamb of God, the bright and the morning star, the lily of the valley. Yeah. Ain't all right. Yeah. Won't he make a way? Yeah. Joe's heart, pointing the at it. He the wheel yeah. in the middle of a wheel. Yeah. 
Cause I was sinking deep in sin. I was far from the peaceful shore. I got to tell my testimony. Very deep there. Stay with me. I want you. 
Wow.